Welcome back, DevNet viewers. I'm joined today by Venkat Krishnamurthy, uh, one of our leaders when it comes to automation, programmability here at Cisco. Okay. We're gr really <laughs> excited to have you here. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, man. This is the coolest place. Okay? Oh. And what you guys did this time is even better. Yes. Okay. I thought what you did in uh, uh, Amsterdam was cool. Uh, I saw the last uh, Las Vegas thing. The DevNet zone is actually bigger. Hey, I, it's always <laughs> fun in the DevNet zone. Hey. It is. But seriously, we're so excited to have you back because you're the reason why the DevNet Zone is so special. Okay. Is that Thank we get to you. Hey, Thank you. Know, you. Um, so I got to tell you, there has been a lot of cool news that's come out here. What's new for you here okay. at Cisco Live? So, so uh, in the last six months, uh, now I uh, I also manage the data center, yeah. uh, networking controllers and automation products also. Mm -hmm. Uh, and one of that is, of course, ACI. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, it has been an incredible learning for me. I mean, I've I've I've, I've known ACI. I've worked on it. A couple of foundational things about ACI. Mm -hmm. Number one is it's built on API. Yeah. API is everything. Yes. Okay. Uh, here is the coolest part, and I saw this, and I was just blown away. Just with one click, you yeah. can bring up an entire fabric. Just mm -hmm. one click. I mean, click as in one API call. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Literally one API call, multiple objects that you can just put all of that into this one single API call and you can bring up a fabric. You can even bring up multiple fabrics. Yeah. Okay, this level of automation is just unbelievable phenomenal. It, and, and there's an interesting story on that. So the, the guy who did this, okay, the, the API, he wanted to name it as Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> That's the internal name for Hilarious. it. Hilarious. You know, no, no, so the internal name for it, because he liked the name. So his manager said, no, 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 why are you naming it Cobra? He said, oh, Cobra is just a, uh, an acronym. And he said, what is the acronym? Cisco Object Based REST API. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Cisco would not be anywhere if not for our lovely acronyms. Oh my God. But that yeah. said, anybody that's at home thinking about programmability, in addition to Python, we got another snake for you, which would be Cobra. <laughs> uh, but this is yes, great. This is cool. But seriously, you're absolutely right. API is the product yeah, these days, yeah. you know, and I, I love this saying that I've been hearing here, which is instead of the proof is in the pudding, mm -hmm. the proof is in the programmability. Oh, it is, it is, it yeah. absolutely is, it absolutely is. Now, you all have a lot of things that are coming out at this event, but there has been a really cool thing that you've done mm -hmm. with NDFC. Yes. And if I'm right, not only have you been talking about it a lot here at Cisco Live, you also have a really cool video about oh, that. Yes. But oh, yes. tell us more about uh, NDFC, and then we'll go and cut to that uh, tape. Oh, no, that'll be awesome. So NDFC is the Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller. Mm -hmm. It is our open VXLAN uh, fabric controller that does open VXLAN fabrics, um, as well as uh, IP uh, fabric media also. Mm -hmm. Okay, some of this, uh, it's, it's really cool stuff. And we just, what we did was, uh, earlier, uh, when you have VXLAN on the data center, you could yeah. use that, you could use NDFC to manage it. Now, if you have VXLAN on the campus with the Catalyst, we can manage that with NDFC also. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, that's what that actually, the, one, the video, that the demo that you're talking about, yeah. it is actually that. Right on. Okay, so at this moment, we're gonna cut over to that because seeing is believing. So let's go check out that video. All right, let's do it. Right on. John is an IT network administrator for an international cruise line managing campus and data center VXLAN EVPN networks. The thousands of customers on the cruise line want seamless wireless, entertainment, security, and network connectivity while on board. As they sail from one destination to another, they want to be able to access and enjoy the features provided on board anytime without any interruptions or slowdown. The key building blocks for the solution are NDFC, Nexus 9000 and Catalyst 9000 switchers for which individual fabrics are created. John imports them into the multi-site domain fabric to consistently provision VXLAN overlays for end-to-end -end communication. With the one-click recalculate and deploy capability, he deploys multi-site configurations across the data center and campus fabrics. Once deployment is completed, the BGP underlay and BGP EVPN overlay sessions are established. And once multi-site day zero configurations are completed, 
John provisions and deploys VRF and networks across the data center and campus fabrics for network, application, and guest connectivity. Thus, from the multi-site domain, he creates and deploys multiple networks and VRFs. Topology View helps visualize the fabric overview, different networks, and VRFs across fabrics. John can navigate to network and VRF attachment to visualize information, such as the network details on which the overlay is attached, the switch ports on which the network is extended, and more. Just like the overall Cisco networking portfolio, NDFC provides REST APIs that customers can use to automate their entire day zero, day one, and day two operations. We also provide customers with Ansible collections and Terraform providers to easily automate their networking infrastructure with these market-leading automation tools. John relies on NDFC to manage multi-platform architecture and simplified workflows to extend services across different fabrics. He achieves service excellence while those on the cruise enjoy improved connectivity on their vacation. That was awesome. Yeah. Uh, give yes. this team an Academy Award. Uh, it is always <laughs> great when we're able to show how these products work. Now, it'd be great though to hear from you. Mm -hmm. You know, for NDFC, you know, how can our learners, our programmers, our customers, our partners, what capabilities does this bring to them? Mm -hmm. so, so what it does is it helps you manage the VXLAN fabrics that are both on the Catalyst campus as well as on the uh, data centers. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to set up the fabric, it allows you to <clears throat> visualize it um, and, and as well as assure it and monitor it. And we can also, and, and as we do with everything Cisco, we have APIs, REST APIs, on top of NDFC that we can use to automate a lot of this. So you don't have to go to the GUI to do it. The GUI is great, That's awesome. the APIs are better. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, I love this. Um, now, in addition to that, there have been a lot of announcements here at Cisco Live. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure anybody that's been watching what Jonathan was saying, mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. G2's been saying, Liz has been saying, but of course, the big news has been around Cisco networking. Mm -hmm. The GigaOM report is out. Yes, yes it would it be is. great for you to help our viewers at home yes. learn more about what these announcements mean for them. Okay, all right, great. So the GigaOM report, uh, GigaOM report you, uh, so what that is, is it establishes Cisco as a leader in the circle that they have, the leadership circle that they have for cloud networking. Mm -hmm. So we have a product called uh, CCNC. So what CCNC does is you have user, you have uh, people who have hybrid cloud workloads or multi-cloud workloads, and it helps you automate the multi-cloud workloads connectivity, segmentation, as well as all the policy that you can deploy. And if you are an ACI user and you know uh, the policy language for it, it gives you a similar thing. Uh, it gives you the same thing, actually, not similar, the same thing. Right okay. on. on cloud, and whether you are using just AWS, you're using multiple of the clouds, AWS, Azure, et cetera, you don't have to learn the cloud language. You stick to the networking language that you know, and it helps you automate all of that. And that's, that's awesome. one of the reasons that the, and I, we had a webinar. We spoke to the analyst who wrote that, and we did a webinar with the analyst, and he was particularly impressed by this particular point. And there are some really, really cool stuff that we have in it. So right on. very, very excited, very, very excited. Venkat, you are a fan favorite. We are always <laughs> happy when you stop in the DevNet zone. Thank you for showing us, helping us see all the great things that we get to do together. Okay. Right on. Good all right. deal. Thank, Thank you, God. man. Thank, Thank you, you so much. All right. And for you at home, we hope that you learn more at developer.cisco.com. And thanks again for joining us.